I told you not to dribble that ball in the hallway. I'm not dribbling it. I'm holding it, pea brain. Can't you tell the difference? Don't lie to me. You stopped when the elevator door opened. I'm not lying, and I wasn't dribbling. And if I wanted to dribble, I would dribble. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And if you try and stop me, it'll be dribbling from your nose. <laughs> I'll just grab you. Yeah, I'm dribbling. Now, what you gonna do about it? Give me that car. No way. I said, give me it. you get from messing with Arnold Jackson, lard butt. <laughs> back so soon, Arnold? Hey, things are looking up. He came back with his ball this time. Uh, Dad, I think maybe I'm in a little trouble. On second thought, I'm positive I'm in big trouble. Arnold, have you been playing basketball in the hall again? No, honest. Then what happened? Did Mr. Garth catch you smiling on the premises? <laughs> I kind of had another run-in with Bobby the Blimp. <laughs> what do you mean, kind of? Well, he kind of asked for it, so I kind of stuck my foot out, and he kind of tripped and kind of fell on his big, fat face. <laughs> Way to go, bro. I'm glad to see you cream that turkey. Yeah, I'm proud of you for not letting him push you around, Arnold. Well, I'm not. What have I always told you? Even if Bobby had it coming, Fighting never solves anything. But he started it, Dad. And you had to finish it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I'll never forget the splat when he hit the floor. <laughs> Arnold, you can't just go around shoving and hitting people. You've got to learn to control your temper. And if there's a problem, you discuss it like a gentleman. A gentleman? Was Conan the Barbarian? <laughs> the only thing a guy like Bobby understands is brute force. He's lucky the elevator door closed before I gave him my left, my right, and then I overcut and I knocked him down and stepped uh, uh, on him and jumped uh, that, That's enough. Look, his face is a bloody pulp. <laughs> that's got to be Mr. Garth. I'll, I'll settle this whole thing. All right, Truman, no more Mr. Nice Guy. I've about had it with that snotty kid of yours. You can't talk that way about Willis. <laughs> Now, you know who I mean. Now, just one minute, Mr. Garth. Your kid was playing in the hall again. This time, he slugged my boy. What are you going to do about it? If what you say is true, Arnold will be punished, and I will see to it that he apologizes to your son. You know, you rich guys are all alike. You think you can do anything you want. Don't you poke me. Oh, I'll poke you when I want to poke you, because you're a lousy tenant, you're a miserable father, and I've had it up to here with your obnoxious brats. That did it. Thank <laughs> you.